Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician. Today I'm going to tell you how exponents are used in scientific notation to represent large and small numbers. So scientific notation is a really convenient way to express very large and very small numbers without writing them out in standard form. So if I've got the number 4.3 times 10 to the negative 7th power, what that negative 7 exponent does is that it indicates to me that I have to take this decimal point and I have to move it seven spaces to the left, okay? Because it's a negative exponent, I'm going to move to the left. So I'm gonna take this number 4.3 and I'm gonna put my pen on the decimal and I'm gonna move seven spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna put my new decimal point right there when I'm done counting. And now every empty loop, so this is why it's important that you do your loops kind of consistent and neat has to be filled in with a zero and make sure you only fill in each loop with one zero, okay? And now I'm gonna rewrite my number so this doesn't wanna be your final answer. My decimal is gonna be here and I have one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I bring down the number four, three. And this number, 4.3 times 10 to the seventh is equivalent to point zero, 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 four, three. So exponents are a really easy way to write this number in a much more convenient fashion. And then if the exponent was positive, all you would do is move your decimal over to the right and it would show you a really big number as opposed to the really small number that we just did. So that's how you use exponents to represent large and small numbers in scientific notation.